well, we're not satisfied at all. I mean, there are huge questions here. And indeed, you know, very little information on Saturday. I was at the stadium when this was revealed. Very little information came out then, um, other than the fanfare. The government statement last night issued very little information back again. I mean, a hundred million pounds of the savings bank money or a hundred million pounds cost of the stadium. It, it, they're different things. Is it a hundred million that the stadium will cost or is it a hundred million that the savings bank are putting forward? These, there are huge questions here. I mean, starting from the involvement of UEFA and the government itself and the savings bank, because let's not forget that uh, we have been told, the people of Gibraltar have been told throughout this process, uh, going back to 2016, that this stadium was going to be paid by UEFA exclusively with UEFA money. Is that no longer the case? Clearly it's no longer the case. In 2017, when the Victoria Stadium was sold by the government for 16.5 million to the GFA, again we were told that the stadium would then be enhanced and built up to uh, UEFA standards with UEFA money, with GFA money, you know, give it a, given a grant by UEFA. Again, we were told then, very specifically by the government, that it would be at no cost to the taxpayer, at no cost of public monies or savers monies. This is a radically different situation and given the current circumstances, there are major, major questions to ask here. The government has said that this is a very low risk investment, with this to be easily repaid with interest and with a government guarantee. What's your response? Well, before we get to whether this is a low risk investment, we've got to ask the question of why is this investment necessary at all, given what I've said, that UEFA were going to pay for this, that the government had been saying this is at no cost to the taxpayer, that no public monies would be used. So why does the savings bank that hold savers' monies need to dip into its resources to make a significant grant for this to become a reality. And who benefits from this? Because, again, you know, the statement last night which confirmed the staggering figure of 100 million, the government says the GFA are going to buy loan notes and you'll get, the savings bank will get a small return. But look, this project has now been um, announced that will contain residential development, it will contain commercial units. Who's benefiting from this project if not the savings bank? So we want to know the details of that. And look, this is land that was sold by the government, the Victoria Stadium, and the very high value land on which it was sold, um, was sold for 16.5 million. It wasn't sold for residential or commercial development. If you'd sold premium land for residential or commercial development, you've got to ask the question whether that was value for money or whether you would have got much more for it. And the basic security that the government confirmed yesterday uh, was that you know the money is safe because I'm putting in, the savings bank is putting in 100 million and it's getting security over the land. Well, the land is worth, according to the government, 16.5 million. So this is like going to the bank and saying, I'm going to get 16% of security for the, for the money that I want from you. And you're also calling for transparency on those involved with the project, such as Community Services and Suppliers Limited. Well, because this is a, a structure that is worryingly now being used in a, a lot of projects. This is not just, this is not the first project. So we are seeing this name come up and this structure is opaque. Community Supplies and Services Limited is owned by another company called Community Initiatives Limited. That isn't a company that is held with shares. It's a company limited by guarantee. So you can't really find out who's behind that company. And yet that company is coming up everywhere. The Coaling Island project, the, 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 where, which is going to be used, th that building, that new building for the decanting, the so-called decanting. Uh, GBC asked questions of the government. The government said, well, it's got nothing to do with us. Well, but that company is coming up and there are civil servants signing planning applications for that company. That company's name comes up in the context of Laguna Estate in, in, in relation to a project being done there. It's coming up in the, in the context of the Eastern Beach Promenade. This is a structure not only that is opaque and requires transparency, but it's a worrying feature because if, you're set, if the government is setting up uh, structures for the channeling of further funds 
to handle in an opaque and intransparent way without accounting to the people of Gibraltar. That is an unacceptable state of affairs because the total sum of these projects could be in excess of several hundreds of millions of pounds.